Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to my show, listed by Nina Cooper. We're about real estate, trust, probate, divorce, and more. And I want to, um, you know, discuss a little bit about what I do. I, I guess I get so excited about my guests. I don't talk as much about what I do. <laughs> But um, I am a realtor. I'm a certified trust and probate realtor. I'm licensed in California and Arizona. And uh, my team, listed by Mina Cooper team, uh, which is with Keller Williams, uh, I have agents throughout California. Uh, because of the nature of my business, I do have um, agents assisting me so we get uh, our job done effectively, efficiently, and quickly. Uh, so, you know, I strive on customer service. Uh, the experience for my clients and the professionals I work with is very important to me. And, you know, it's like anything. Um, if you go to school and you didn't like your teacher and you didn't have a good experience, you're probably not going to do well in that class, right? But if you love that teacher and you know that that may have not been your strong point, right? But now all of a sudden you start doing better. So experience is really, really important. And I have uh, 20 years of knowledge. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm the person that you go to if you need help, you have to ask me. I will give you all the people I know that can help you um, if it's not real estate related, um, but if it's anything to do with financial, um, any type of attorneys that you need, mortgages, um, you know, please reach out to me. I, I have a, a great um, uh, system where, you know, people are there to help. And, you know, I know my, the professionals I work with, it's not only about money for them. Uh, they feel the same way I do. It's about helping. And, you know, the, the market has changed a little bit. Um, you know, interest rates went up. Uh, but, you know, I remember when the interest rates were a lot higher than it is now. So people kind of like, what do I do? And I'm kind of like, you know, if you can buy, do buy. Because at the end of the day, you're building equity. The rents are very high, uh, and, and if you don't think you can qualify, I, I think you should inquire about that because people would be surprised there's a way to get into the property, whether it's commercial, residential. There's so many different types of properties. Um, if you own multi-units or commercial property, uh, there's great opportunities in Arizona uh, to um, do 1031 exchange. Uh, there's different rules there. So uh, there, there's a potential to have a better income flowing property if you're 1030 winning over there or rental properties, even though the market is high uh, and it's leveling off. So inventory is becoming more available, which is great. And everybody's like, oh, my God, it's going to crash. I said, I want to know if things are going to crash. It's kind of like, you know, it's like a seesaw. That's why I, I look at it and, you know, just focus on what your needs are, right? I think that's the most important thing. So, um, you know, if you have any real estate needs, um, I'm doing some great things. I'm offering a 1.5% listing fee for the summer. And the reason why I'm doing that, because we've all been through so much. And, you know, if you can take that extra money and go on vacation, that would make me happy. So I'm offering that. Um, and your service is the same. <laughs> and my job is to get whatever needs to be done, done for you. Uh, my phone number again, and it's it's on Facebook, and also we have the app, which is KHTS uh, Entertainment. Uh, you can download the app, you can watch on Facebook or listen on the radio, but you can't write down anything when you're listening on the radio. So you have my phone number, 310-345-8500. You can also text that number and reach out to me with any needs that you have. I'm always here to help. And I have an amazing guest here who I've used personally because he's just an amazing person and he's great at what he does. And he comes from the building background. So what better to do business with, with someone that knows the properties inside and out, upside down, sideways and forwards, right? Uh, Jerry is amazing. And um, he has an inspection company, Brook and & Sons. And they go throughout California. And he, he's just great. You know, my clients were really so happy. He took the time out and took these amazing pictures to understand, for them to understand, because they, they don't know from a lot of the details, which we all don't, you know. 
it's like fixing a car. You don't build the car, you don't know about it. And uh, he went through all the details. He explained several times to them so they really understand about what's going on with the property. And when you're purchasing a property or selling one, you really need to know that. And, and Jerry takes his time out to do that. So he goes beyond the call of duty, as far as I'm concerned, and my experiences I've had with other inspectors. And today, um, because it was interesting, I just had a house that actually had this issue, um, foundation issues. <laughs> yes. You can usually see them, uh, the floor is not even, <laughs> and then kind of the, ma the house or the property, the building may be a little tilted, but you know, you're not, I'm not one to say, well, I think there's a foundation issue. So I think that um, having someone like Jerry Holt come over and take a look and see if he needs to rebar and secure the property so it doesn't fall down. Um, you know, we live in a place where there's earthquakes and shifting of then uh, the heat and whatever makes the property sometimes move a little bit, uh, cracks in the wall. So we can know the extent of what needs to be done. You don't want to sell a property that could potentially be a hazard. Uh, so Jerry, do you want to tell us about... It's not funny, but I, I laugh sometimes, you know, it's a nervous laugh. But um, Tell us a little bit about foundations and, you know, sure. when do they go bad? Uh, can they be bad at a new property? I mean, it's an interesting concept. No one, really thinks, no one really thinks about foundations unless they're building something. That's absolutely correct. Thank you for the intro, first of all. Like I said, my name is Jerry Holt. I am the owner of Brook and Sons Inspections. Uh, last time I was on, we talked a little bit about first-time home buyers and... It doesn't this doesn't really affect the first time home buyers, but in general the entire population of buyers. Uh, when they walk into a home, they see the wow effect, the new appliances, the new flooring, the new paint. Um, and there's a little bit more to an inspection than that. One of the most important parts of an inspection is the foundation or crawl space area. Um, most of my important items that I need to inspect is going to be in the foundation area. Your question about how long a foundation lasts, well, that's a trick question. It depends on the conditions of the exteriors. For example, if you have poor drainage that drains into a foundation, what we're going to have is a condition called efflorescence oh. or efflorescence. And what that is is the calcium and lime deposits, a white powdery film that kind of disintegrates the concrete. Here's another term that I can throw at you. It's called dilapidation. Wow, well, I'm going to be smarter <laughs> when I leave today. <laughs> I like uh, that. And dilapidation is basically how how it's it's meant to meant to really explain the deterioration or uh, it's where the aggregate of the concrete starts to disintegrate. All of this is concerns from water penetration mm -hmm. from the exteriors. There's a, there's a few things that you can do to avoid this condition. One of them would be water treatment or water barriers throughout the house or the foundation area. Gutters are one of the most important but the actual most important is what we call a quarter inch per foot away from the foundation oh, draining. So <clears throat> rather than having the water flow towards the house, we have it flow away, t away from the house. So number one most important is going to be the drainage. Uh, now as far as is the longevity of concrete, concrete can last well over 100 mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. and we see it all the time. I do inspections of 1890 houses all the time. Wow. And do they usually need adjusting? They do the and they do have some cracks in them yeah. and they do have some separations and delamination, the deterioration, efflorescence and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Um, but the only way that you can see that is by hiring, by hiring myself or a foundation expert. Uh, myself, I would go in there and inspect the entire crawl space, and I would be able to, like you said, take lots of pictures of the conditions and uh, show you the conditions, and would, we would recommend a foundation expert. But there's so much more to examine underneath the foundation rather than just the foundation. But number one important, without a foundation, you don't really have a house. Right. Uh, one of the... One of the, when you're talking about foundation, there's also different types of foundations. 
There's brick foundations, which is not oh. a very good foundation. Interesting. Downtown LA, South LA, a lot of the areas around there have uh, brick foundations. Is that the way the builders used to build it years Way ago? back 100 years ago, oh, wow. yeah, 1910s, 1900s. What's the pros and cons of brick foundations? There is no pros to brick foundation. Interesting. Why did they use it? Is that the only Normally thing? Normally the mortar and the sealant that holds the brick together, it deteriorates over time. Oh. So I would say a minimum of 50% of the houses that I go to with brick foundations, the foundation experts come out and say that it needs to be replaced. Wow. Is that sounds like a big job. Very expensive. Do you have to knock down the house? No, 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 no. Oh. You, you have to replace uh, the foundation and it's tens of thousands of dollars. So, and that's something that I note. And you're not going to be able to note that it's a brick foundation because your foundation is going to be under the house. So what's to say that... <clears throat> can't last another 100 years with a brick foundation because it lasts a long time. Right? It's a long time. It served its lifespan. When they <laughs> built the, ha the, the house, they didn't expect it to be, you know, 100 right. years. Right. They didn't think about it probably. And right? they didn't have the same conditions. They didn't have the actual experience we do today of construction materials. So uh, everything's changed in the last 100 years. Uh, we also have new requirements as far as bolting and earthquake uh -huh. safety. Um, back in the 1900s, uh, up until about 1935 or 38, they right. didn't really have bolting. And so how'd they keep it together, rebar? They just put it on top of the foundation. It didn't move anywhere. It, it stayed there intact. Uh, but up until the San Francisco earthquake, right, 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 right. then they said, hey, we need to do so something So is that retrofitting? That. I mean, what is retrofitting? No, retrofitting, basically, that's a good comment. Right. Um, retrofitting is where they go in there and they install bolts. They install shear panels on the cripple walls. And what shear panels are is pieces of plywood mm -hmm. against the vertical and horizontal framing I to see. make it rigid. So it can so it, So it's rigid rather than flimsy. Oh, I see. Interesting. Yeah. And then the posts and beams, which also support the middle if of the house. If it's very rigid, can it crack? No, it becomes a part of the foundation uh -huh. rather than sliding around on the foundation. Uh, it becomes oh, a see. part of the foundation so and the house more can rigid. can actually slide off of the yep. foundation the and other way has. and this kind of like it more has. to <clears throat> move, right? Yep. Interesting. A lot of times they call that an upgrade. But because mm -hmm. it was made that way and mm -hmm. built that way, it's a requ requirement, I should say an upgrade requirement these days. Any new building has to have earthquake uh, bolts and straps and sure panels Does anyone and all check? that stuff. <laughs> yeah, we check all the time. They have what they call a retrofitting agency to go out there and check. Uh, not to be confused with another retrofitting agency uh -huh. that checks for smoke detectors. Oh, and, right, right. The other stuff is see low flow flushing yeah. and strapped in water yeah. heaters. But there's so many more things that's in a crawl space in the foundation area that you don't get the wow, a wow effect. You know, you can paint all the walls you want. Um, you can put in new fixtures, but underneath the house, you actually get to see the plumbing of the house. Uh -huh. Right. And, and there could be ficus trees and all kinds of things. They're growing into the, the pipes. Yeah. Well, not just that. You could have leaking pipes under there. Right, and and it could have been leaking for 20 years. You don't know because you haven't been underneath the house. So what happens if it just keeps leaking? You're wasting water? Well, if it's leaking, it's an unsafe condition. <laughs> yeah. If it's wastewater, right. if it's supply water, it's still an unsafe, yes, it's an course. unsatisfactory because condition. Because there's rodents and things that And creates... you would never know that unless wow. you hired me. That's and amazing. And that's why I go into there. We have um, electrical. Electrical is normally installed underneath the house. Sometimes it's installed in the attic mm -hmm. for the lights, uh, but normally it's installed underneath the house and in the walls. Uh, we have posts and beams that hold up the center of the house and the bearing walls. So there's a lot of components in the foundation area. Um, instead of looking at the color of the paint on the walls, we should be more concerned about the structure and foundation of the house. Yeah, it's interesting. When I sell a house on you know, the seller or buyer, no one asks if the house of the building has been retrofitted. Isn't that something? Nobody I just asks. thought about it. Nobody asks. That's interesting. But I, the insurance agencies will. Will they? They'll ask yeah. every... Every question on the disclosures, yep. right? Every buyer, they're all And some people question. say, I don't know, right? Yes. <laughs> and then what do they do with that? Because they don't know. They haven't <laughs> been out of the And they don't know, house. right. 
they so. bought it, you know, the hand me down right or whatever. Sure. And they really don't know, and they'll write, I don't know, and right. then nobody knows. But it goes it does go through, and I'm don't wondering. Know. I always wonder, you know, what, you know, why aren't people asking me that? But, you know, I think um, fireproofing doors and things like that, which is another thing that I think people don't pay attention to when we went into that garage and it had a doggy door. Um, and it was not a fire door or was a fire door with a hole in it. So, yeah. cause you want to, if there's a fire, you want to keep it out of the other parts of the house. Didn't I, didn't we have one like yes. that at the last house yes. we did? Right. So right. fire doors really, it, it allows you enough time to be notified mm -hmm. and it blocks the fire from spreading inside of the house right. for a minimum of 90 minutes. When you block, when you put a big old hole for a dog to go through it, it it avoids that you know yeah. the fire barrier. Right, that is that's going to spread important. like wildfire. Very important. And and because there's so many wires in the garage, so many wires, electrical. electrical. But that's not really that's not really the reason why mm -hmm. garages are. You don't want to ruin your car if there's a house fire. The car, the water heater, the washer and dryer. Everything most of the times, there. a lot of times, the and storables. Paper, yeah. uh, people cardboard, keep all that stuff in there as a storage. In the storage. Mm -hmm. So it's a big hub for fire. Sure. So we want to keep that fire and the fire barrier uh, protection from the rest of the house. All walls. I was just going to say the walls are fireproof. All page, walls right? are fireproof to leading into the interior of the house, Interesting. meaning the back wall. And if it's a two story, the ceiling. Wow. So. I mean, that's that's you know. Another thing people don't ask, yeah, you know, is the wall, especially we live in a, a very high, you know, depending on where you're buying your property or selling, um, you know, that there's a high fire risk in there. And um, you don't hear too many people talking about fireproof paint. But, I mean, could you do your whole house in fireproof paint? I'm not sure if you could do the inside. I, I, I it's a basically, a, it's a new process that got out. It's interesting because I would think it would deter, like... I'm not sure. I'm that, not that's sure. an interesting question, you know, because, you know, there's a lot of questioning properties out here, too. Sure. Which I love, and I hope to um, be getting some of those to uh, sell. But see, fireproof paint still does not change the requirements of a fireproof barrier. Right. I see. So it acts like a barrier, like the fire door. Yeah. So that's... that it can deter it from spreading if Correct. you can do that. Correct. You still have to have it. That's interesting. And, you know, people that are not in California think that you can't get insurance, but you can. Because I've sold properties, uh, very uh, luxury no, luxury homes um, in the millions, and they're insuring them. And they're in brush. And, you know, everybody's like, oh, my God, I'm not going to buy anything because we can't get insurance. But they, they, you know, they made a big thing, uh, was it last year or the year before, all the insurance companies are pulling out because no one can get insurance and nobody wants to insure them because of what happened to Malibu Fire, right? That was mm -hmm. a big, big yeah. thing, right? It was a big deal. And that's not so. I literally have sold properties, like, right in the middle of the brush where they're far away from everybody and we got insurance. And it wasn't, like, insanely crazy where you wouldn't be able to afford the, the, the insurance or... You know, obviously, if it's twenty, thirty million dollar property, um, that the insurance is higher. But there are people that will insure you out there. So, um, you know, California is still going strong. You know, <laughs> the properties yeah. are still high. You know, people still come to live here. We got we have great weather, right? And um, I think you know, if you a think, little warm today, a little today, okay. <laughs> Nothing is perfect, but I think in the long run, I, you know, um, with all the other disaster areas in the world where people live tornadoes sure. and flood zones and you know this isn't bad right because the earthquakes don't happen that often thank god but you know where we can feel them again jerry thank you so i love having i can talk to you for hours you know maybe i'll do a two-hour show yeah. <laughs> so again um please let everybody know you can find us on um the app it's khts entertainment you can download the app if you don't use facebook or you don't like facebook uh, or you can go to Facebook and go to the KHTS Hometown Station page. We're always there. You can ask Jerry questions or myself questions. All my shows are on there. If you're driving, this is it. <laughs> you're not going to hear it again <laughs> unless you go there. But, um, again, it's on the app because that's a syndication app. So um, that's the national news and, and part of our what we do here. 
um, part of our local station. So again, let everybody know the best way. My contact information, well, first of all, my phone number, my personal phone number is going to be 909-499-2051. My email address is brookinsonsinc at gmail.com. And my website is brookinsonsinc at Oh, brookinsonsinc.com. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens when the inspector yep. goes out in the heat. <laughs> you know, we need air conditioning inspection. You know, maybe they have one of those hats that yeah. has like a fan on top of it. <laughs> I think I'm going to make that for the end. But, you know, you guys just do it. You know, rain, yep. snow, heat. You just you just do your thing. You know, blinders on and you're going, you're going to bat. Today's for... attics are going to be 150 degrees. Wow. Yeah. But thank God most attics are not that big. We'll see. Right? You don't know until you get in there. Do yeah. you know people, their houses we go into, you have these big houses, you don't even know they have an addict. Yeah. Right? Anyway, I'm going to be back with another guest. And again, there, Jerry, thank you so much. My pleasure. I love having you over. And uh, we'll see you in a few. Mark J. Marcus is a bankruptcy attorney in Burbank. He's helped his clients eliminate debts, stop foreclosures, and wage garnishments. In Chapter 7, 13, and Chapter 11, bankruptcy cases in the greater Los Angeles area since 1991. He is a certified specialist in bankruptcy law by the State Bar of California Board of Legal Specialization. If you're facing debt problems, such as mortgages, taxes, credit cards, debts from divorce, medical, and others, contact Mark to schedule an appointment, 818-509-1173. Richard Wang is an attorney and founding partner with Viridian Mortgage, a residential mortgage broker specializing in Disney-level customer service for residential purchase and refinance transactions. Richard leads a team of dream makers that prepare buyers to present the winning offer while securing the most competitive loan terms and in industry-leading turnaround times. Ask Richard Wang about their no-income and zero-down payment loans for medical professionals by calling 408-828-5609 today. Are you looking for help with your online marketing? Do you need a professional website design? Do you want to increase your sales and get more leads? Then you need Abby Perez, CEO of Digital Concept. Abby has 15 years of experience helping businesses with all of their online marketing needs. She and her team will work tirelessly to get you the results you deserve. They offer a free in-depth analysis. Call Abby Perez and the Digital Concept team today and let them help you take your business to the next level at 800-531-0872 or visit Digital Concept Marketing. Marketing.com. Jerry Holt at Brook and Sons Inspections, with over 40 years of experience in the construction industry, has performed thousands of home inspections. Jerry Holt, once a city building inspector and general contractor, knows exactly what you need to look for when buying a home. Serving LA, Ventura, and Orange Counties. Call Brook and Sons with any questions. They're here to serve you. Call Brook and Sons Inspections at 747-336-9849 or email at brookandsonsinc at gmail.com for your free quote. Mina Cooper is a certified realtor focusing on trusts, probates, 1031 exchanges, divorce, and much more. She's a specialist. Mina has published books on inherited and divorced properties and business dissolutions. Ready to sell? Call Mina Cooper. Need your property renovated? Mina Cooper will help. No out-of-pocket expense. Pay at escrow. Mina Cooper, Keller Williams Realty. Serving Santa Clarita, Ventura County, L.A. County, Orange County, and San Diego. Call 310-345-8500 or go to listed by Mina Cooper, K U. UPER.com. Skyline Smiles is a full-service, high-tech dental office located in Skyline Ranch Plaza on Plum Canyon Road in Santa Clarita. Dr. Harleen Graywall, founder and CEO, provides full-service dentistry as well as dental Botox for TMJ issues. Skyline Smiles strives to provide the best dental experience for you and your family. Visit Skyline Smiles Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or call at 661-244-4036. Mina Cooper is a certified realtor focusing on trusts, probates, 1031 exchanges, divorce, and much more. She's a specialist. Mina has published books on inherited and divorced properties and business dissolutions. Ready to sell? Call Mina Cooper. Need your property renovated? Mina Cooper will help. No out-of-pocket expense. Pay at escrow. Mina Cooper, Keller Williams Realty. Serving Santa Clarita, Ventura County, L.A. County, Orange County, and San Diego. Call 310-345-8500 or go to listed by Mina Cooper, KU. UPER.com. 
Richard Wang is an attorney and founding partner with Viridian Mortgage, a residential mortgage broker specializing in Disney-level customer service for residential purchase and refinance transactions. Richard leads a team of dream makers that prepare buyers to present the winning offer while securing the most competitive loan terms and in industry-leading turnaround times. Ask Richard Wang about their no income and zero down payment loans for medical professionals by calling 408-828-5609 today. Jerry Holt at Brook & Sons Inspections with over 40 years of experience in the construction industry has performed thousands of home inspections. Jerry Holt, once a city building inspector and general contractor, knows exactly what you need to look for when buying a home. Serving LA, Ventura and Orange Counties. Call Brook & Sons with any questions, they're here to serve you. Call Brook & Sons Inspections at 747-336-9849 or email at brookandsonsinc at gmail.com for your free quote. Are you looking for help with your online marketing? Do you need a professional website design? Do you want to increase your sales and get more leads? Then you need Abby Perez, CEO of Digital Concept. Abby has 15 years of experience helping businesses with all of their online marketing needs. She and her team will work tirelessly to get you the results you deserve. They offer a free in-depth analysis. Call Abby Perez and the Digital Concept team today and let them help you take your business to the next level at 800-531-0872 or visit Digital Concept Marketing. Marketing.com. Your business sign is essential to getting customers to your location. Feathers can help you get your business noticed. Feathers, now in a new larger space with plenty of parking. They walk you through each phase of your project with special attention to detail and quality. Feathers will provide you a sign that you can be proud of. Your sign will draw customers in instead of having them drive by. Visit Feathers online at feathersigns.com or go to Feathers' brand new bigger location at 26017 Huntington Drive off Rye Canyon or call 298-9442. Want to laugh at TMJ and that obscenely overpriced bike guard? Discover the three most common mistakes that must change to stop TMJ for good. Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Palucky, and WebMD chooses me as best chiropractor and functional medicine in Santa Clarita. Something to think about. So, when you're ready to get better, go to drpalucky.com. That's D-R-P-O-L-U-C-K-I.com to schedule your free consultation now. Okay, Shelby, care to share with the class what you did this weekend? My weekend started in the African desert, where I was surrounded by wild animals, like fennec foxes. After that, I climbed towering trees in the rainforest and played next to an animal called a prehensile-tailed porcupine. Okay, who's next? Ryan? Um, I went to the mall. Visit the new Wildlife Explorers Base Camp at the San Diego Zoo and feel what it's like to be wild. No doubt about it. L.A. is an awesome place to live. But even while living in the land of beaches and mountains, it's safe to say that we could all use a real vacation right about now. One where you don't have to stop for gas, cook your own meals, or strip your own sheets. Lucky for us, Princess Cruises has a port right here in L.A. Now, for a limited time, L.A. residents can sail with Princess from just $89 per day to the beaches of Mexico, the tropics of Hawaii, or cruise along the California coast without getting stuck in traffic. That's right, just $89 per day. And while these great destinations aren't going anywhere, these deals won't be around forever. So visit princess.com, call 1-800-PRINCESS, or contact your travel advisor to book your cruise today. Set sail with LA's Cruise Line, Princess Cruises. Terms and restrictions apply. Promotional pricing ends November 30th, 2021. Ships are Bermuda and British Registry. Before booking, consult the CDC website at www.cdc.gov. There is only one language spoken at Thai Dish, and it sounds something like this. Mmm, 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 this is great. Once people get a taste of Thai dishes, there's really no reason to do any more talking. Mmm, mm -hmm. Make it full of flavor, make it delicious, only at Thai Dishes. Enjoy the atmosphere, love the food. Thai Dishes on Valencia Boulevard for free delivery, 253-FOOD. That's 253-F-O-O-D. Oh, mmm. 
It's a hit. Audiences are loving Something Rotten, playing out the Canyon Theatre Guild. The year is 1595, and Shakespeare is a rock star. A rival acting troupe can't compete with The Bard. They need something new, exciting, never before done. Laugh your way back in time to the Renaissance with this hilarious show featuring tap dancing, Shakespeare, and the origins of the musical. Get your tickets today by calling 661-799-2702 or reserve online at canyontheater.org. This is Bradley from Santa Clarita Grocery, the all-volunteer grocery program serving children, families, and individuals experiencing food insecurities. Since January 2020, Santa Clarita Grocery has distributed 83 tons of fresh groceries to 4,465 families in the SCV. Santa Clarita Grocery is a drive-up, drive-through service with physical distancing in place to continue serving our community. If you are in need or looking for a charity to do the most good for our community, please consider partnering with us by donating to Santa Clarita Grocery, one of the most efficient charities in the Santa Clarita Valley. A full 99 cents out of every dollar goes directly back to the community. Santa Clarita Grocery operates on a 1% overhead and is sustained through private donations. Santa Clarita Grocery is at 21176 Center Point Parkway in the Oasis Furniture Parking Lot. Please visit our website, SantaClaritaGrocery.org, or Facebook at Santa Clarita Grocery to make a difference in our awesome town community. 661 425 7575. Be our guest and experience the difference. It's no wonder people love Baskin Robbins, 31 delicious flavors of ice cream. Celebrate with your favorite ice cream served any way you want, including the special flavor of the month. Baskin Robbins, now open on Lions Avenue in Newhall under new Santa Clarita family ownership, is the first Southern California hybrid design store for Baskin Robbins and the oldest location in Santa Clarita over 45 years. America's favorite neighborhood ice cream shop is just one scoop away. Baskin Robbins, the perfect dessert for your next celebration. Right now, as you're listening to this, the last thing on your mind is needing a plumber. Whitaker Plumbing understands. That's why we want you to store this in the for later use file in your brain. Whitaker Plumbing will handle all emergencies. Your toilet won't stop running? Call Whitaker. Your sink is dripping? Call Whitaker. Your garbage disposal sounds funky? Whitaker will handle it. Upgrading your water heater? All your plumbing services with one call. Whitaker Plumbing. Whitaker with one T plumbing. SCV.com. Are you looking for help with your online marketing? Do you need a professional website design? Do you want to increase your sales and get more leads? Then you need Abby Perez, CEO of Digital Concept. Abby has 15 years of experience helping businesses with all of their online marketing needs. She and her team will work tirelessly to get you the results you deserve. They offer a free in-depth analysis. Call Abby Perez and the Digital Concept team today and let them help you take your business to the next level at 800-531-0872 or visit Digital Concept Marketing. Marketing.com. Your hometown station. KHTS is the only station I listen to. 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Thank you for showing up again. This is listed by Mina Cooper. We're about real estate, trust, probate, divorce, and more. And I have some people that give us some goodies <laughs> when, you know, you talk about divorce, right? There are some people that haven't worked and took care of the children, and they try to reinvent themselves, or their kids have grown up, right? Um, and uh, they want to do some work, and they want to have their own business, and they didn't have an opportunity to start that again. And I have Abby Perez on the phone and uh, she does digital marketing. And um, all those people that find themselves a little lost, they can call Abby and we'll talk a little bit about, you know, getting started because, you know, if you've been out of the woods for a while, so to speak, in the uh, marketing arena, uh, you need a little help to gain confidence and get your name out there again. And if you have a professional help you, uh, that certainly is important because the more people know about you, the more you can do and the more you can help people and and show off what you do. So, Abby, tell me a little, thank you uh, for coming on the show. Tell me a little bit about 
um, how you get someone started, you know, hasn't been in the work field in a long time and, you know, got divorced or whatever happened, um, you know, and wants to get back out there. Yes. Thank you, Mina, again, for having me. Um, it's always a pleasure working with you and thank talking. You. Um, again, yes, you're absolutely right. A lot of times when people are going through different stages in their life, whether they're selling their house and kind of moving to a new location, going through a divorce, um, you know, you always wonder, okay, well, what's the next phase in my life, right, professionally? And so I do work with a lot of business owners who are starting from square one um, and different ages. There's, you know, there's no age limit to when you can actually start something new. So it's all the digital can be drastically new for most people, <laughs> even if you've already been established our experience. And so we come in, we spend time with them, understanding their goals, go through a discovery phase. Um, to kind of put everything together, figure out what exactly they're trying to accomplish, what they're familiar with, so that we can put all those pieces of the puzzle back together for them and then put them on the right path. So some of those steps can take, you know, if they're in the very beginning stages, they need a logo design. They need a slogan to come up with. They need a website. They need content for that. A lot of people are doing YouTube videos. And they need editing, or you're doing TikTok videos, and you need editing. Um, so there's many avenues. And again, um, you know, even book writing with content and pub, um, promoting that the mainstream, like social media, Instagram. Um, so there's many different platforms, but I usually take the time in the beginning to go over that with every client. You know, every niche is different. Even if it's the same basic things, you still have to understand what the client's goals are. And that's how we help them to stand out. That that's really special because, you know, it's it's like anything else. Getting back on the horse <laughs> is <laughs> exactly. certainly you know a deterrent from actually doing it. And once you do it, and you find different things that work, um, you know, because obviously even more so after the pandemic, um, you know, people were not going out, so. They had to become stronger in the digital world, and I think that made people uncomfortable in the beginning. Uh, and then people that were not twenty years old, right, who grew up with uh, digital everything, uh, iPhone in their hand, or something, right? <laughs> and you now they 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 don't understand why the other people don't understand how to do this. It's so easy, you know. They'll take take something, they'll figure it out in five minutes, just naturally. Where, you know, people like myself who didn't grow up with computers, you know, I mean, the social media where that was the way you did it. Um, it was a good old fashioned way, which I still do like as well. Um, but, you know, certainly having a presence gives you uh, branding. It gives you an identity because people who are going to use you want to see who you are, you know, and videos mm -hmm. of who you are. People can connect mm -hmm. with you. Exactly. And that's one of the, my biggest things that I go over with clients. If someone knows you, refer to you, they're still going to Google you. Having instant credibility through different channels and content out there, whether you have a blog or a video or your social media. So we do take the time to really understand clients, prospects um, who are looking to make that change. And, and digital marketing is confusing or challenging or there's just too many options and layers they can call me directly and i'd walk them through that process right and you have to create the post so it looks good <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah and so they can definitely um have that peace of mind knowing that we're going to go through the milestones with them from the very beginning through each milestone of their professional career um and even sometimes even retired you know yeah. they want to do a book promotion or they want right. to write articles so we do work with them on that as well. That's that's really that that is so special. You know, it's so empowering to know you have someone behind you helping you with this and getting you started. Um, yes, it is. We are an extension of them. Yes, exactly. Right. The other the other part, because uh, everything is laboring. Um, but I wanna, you know, I wanted to get you on here because I know uh, a lot of people are looking for something to do, and I'm really thankful that you able to hop on uh, to yes, talk to us you, today. Um, what's a good t way to reach you? Otherwise, you know, we are on, you know, the KHTS Entertainment uh, app uh, yeah. or Facebook. Not everybody has Facebook. And then uh, we're on the KHTS Hometown Station page to find our information. 
Perfect. Yes, you can reach me um, if you're looking to explore digital marketing options and what's best suited for you, your business, or personal brand. Um, my um, best phone number is 818-288-5215, or they can reach us through our 800 number if they're not local, um, 531-0872, or our website at digitalconceptmarketing.com. Perfect. Thank you so, so much, Abby. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Same. Thank and you. And I, I want to learn some more day. tricks. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for having Getting me. trouble online here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Absolutely. All righty. All right. Enjoy. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mina Cooper is a certified realtor focusing on trusts, probates, 1031 exchanges, divorce, and much more. She's a specialist. Mina has published books on inherited and divorced properties and business dissolutions. Ready to sell? Call Mina Cooper. Need your property renovated? Mina Cooper will help. No out-of-pocket expense. Pay at escrow. Mina Cooper, Keller Williams Realty. Serving Santa Clarita, Ventura County, L.A. County, Orange County, and San Diego. Call 310-345-8500 or go to listed by Mina Mina Cooper, K-U-P-E-R dot com. Richard Wang is an attorney and founding partner with Viridian Mortgage, a residential mortgage broker specializing in Disney-level customer service for residential purchase and refinance transactions. Richard leads a team of dream makers that prepare buyers to present the winning offer while securing the most competitive loan terms and in industry-leading turnaround times. Ask Richard Wang about their no-income and zero-down payment loans for medical professionals by calling 408 408- today. Are you looking for help with your online marketing? Do you need a professional website design? Do you want to increase your sales and get more leads? Then you need Abby Perez, CEO of Digital Concept. Abby has 15 years of experience helping businesses with all of their online marketing needs. She and her team will work tirelessly to get you the results you deserve. They offer a free in-depth analysis. Call Abby Perez and the Digital Concept team today and let them help you take your business to the next level at 800-531-0872 or visit Digital Concept Marketing. Marketing.com. Jerry Holt at Brook & Sons Inspections with over 40 years of experience in the construction industry has performed thousands of home inspections. Jerry Holt, once a city building inspector and general contractor, knows exactly what you need to look for when buying a home. Serving LA, Ventura and Orange Counties. Call Brook & Sons with any questions, they're here to serve you. Call Brook & Sons Inspections at 747-336-9849 or email at brookandsonsinc at gmail.com for your free quote. Mark J. Marcus is a bankruptcy attorney in Burbank. He's helped his clients eliminate debts, stop foreclosures, and wage garnishments. In Chapter 7, 13, and Chapter 11, bankruptcy cases in the greater Los Angeles area since 1991. He is a certified specialist in bankruptcy law by the State Bar of California Board of Legal Specialization. If you're facing debt problems, such as mortgages, taxes, credit cards, debts from divorce, medical, and others, contact Mark to schedule an appointment, 818-509-1173. Skyline Smiles is a full-service, high-tech dental office located in Skyline Ranch Plaza on Plum Canyon Road in Santa Clarita. Dr. Harleen Graywall, founder and CEO, provides full-service dentistry as well as dental Botox for TMJ issues. Skyline Smiles strives to provide the best dental experience for you and your family. Visit Skyline Smiles Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or call at 661-244-4036. Your, I love it. Right on. Your hometown station. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming back. Let's see. Bottom of the hour here, almost one o'clock. Are you listening to Listed by Mina Cooper? We're about real estate, trust, probate, divorce, and more. Uh, 98.1 FM, 1220 AM. And, uh, you know, I want you to wrap up here. I want to thank someone who helped a client of mine. They're really amazing. Um, Alvin Burrell. He's with Manufacturers Bank. And uh, they open up a state, uh, state accounts. Uh, they work with trust, probate. So if you need accounts that uh, need to be done in a speedy fashion with, white glove service, 
uh, you know, reach out to Alvin. Um, I didn't remember, memorize his number. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Alvin's just amazing. And he responds even in the evenings when he's not working. Uh, because sometimes these are definitely uh, things that need to happen quickly. Uh, again, he opens up uh, accounts with probate trust conservatorships. Um, Alvin's phone number is uh, 213-588-4518. And he's a vice president over at Manufacturers Bank, and they specialize in these accounts. And uh, they certainly are very sensitive. Um, there's a lot of people involved usually. And if not, it's always good to have someone who specializes in that one thing that you're looking for. Um, again, you know, I uh, want to talk about um, me being a realtor, uh, licensed in California and Arizona. I have a great team. Uh, I have stagers. I have people that will come in and renovate. Uh, potentially renovate the property, uh, no out of pocket expenses. Uh, we get paid in escrow. Um, we just offer so much to our clients because we know that, I mean, moving in or out is stressful potentially, right? Especially when you're going through um, a trust and probate matter because I'm a certified trust and probate realtor. Uh, and um, we help with, you know, people are out of state. We help with, um, you know, junk removal, um, estate sales, We'll organize everything for, for the uh, executors of the estate, work with the attorneys, and um, make sure that everything moves smoothly because, you know, it's it's usually emotional. And there are people that are not happy. There are people that are happy. And so we want to make it uh, – we want to be their arm that makes it go fast, smoothly, efficiently, and seamless. Um, I've been doing this for a long time. And uh, – Besides that, I do handle a question in properties, um, which is a niche as well. And uh, I'm offering a 1.5% listing fee through the summer. And the reason why I'm doing that is I like to help and, um, you know, take that money and go on vacation or save, save a child or donate money towards charity or whatever. And that's my ask if I do that. Um, you know, we've been through so much and... Um, you know, I think if I can help put a smile on your face, that helps me be the person who I want to be. And, um, that's super important with me. Uh, so I'm with Keller Williams, uh, both in California and Arizona. Um, and, uh, you know, if you need any 1031 exchange information or looking to exit the LA area, uh, with 1031s, reach out to me. Um, I, I, I know some great realtors in other states as well that I've worked closely with that are amazing. And I just want to thank you for watching my show every Thursday from 12 to 1. Um, you know, I'm going to, you know, do some shout outs for businesses that need help that have been affected through all this um, in our next few shows. Uh, so if you have any requests, please let me know. You can reach me uh, at 310 345 8500. I'm also on the Facebook page, and if you download the app at KHTS Entertainment, um, you can reach me there as well. My number is pretty easy 310 345 8500, and I wish you a wonderful weekend and a great rest of the day. Thank you for watching and listening to Listed by Mina Cooper. <laughs>